What was the Bosnian film industry like when you first started in the business? I have to be honest, it is a tragical fact, but but Bosnian film industry was better than back then than than uh, than today be, because you know we are a small country we are we are post war transition country and uh, this is first time from from I don't know hundred years that we are how can I say independent and you know as a young nation. Uh, in that point, in this in this time and period of history, uh, I think that post-war time, uh, especially until like 2005, uh, Bosnian cinema was uh, more focused, more concentrated. Uh, government and and, P and, and politicians uh, had more, uh, how can I say, sense for, for culture, sense for, for movies. How does the Sarajevo Film Festival contribute to the local film industry? This is silver lining of, of, of Bosnia, Sarajevo and Bosnian culture. Because especially if, if we consider uh, how, how uh, Miro and uh, crew back then during the war, how, they, how, how the idea about a festival created, in which occasions during the siege, during the aggression on, on Bosnia. And, and that idea was uh, that our art is about, that, that about human spirit, about human triumph, about struggling to survive, about uh, how, to, how to make the world a better place. You work with one of my favorite directors of all time, John Hu Bong, on the movie Snowpiercer. What was that experience like? First of all, first when I met the Bong, I, I did a self-tape for, for, for the role and I didn't know much about the project, about him, about... I didn't know that he is the director of the project. Uh, and I, and I, I watched uh, one of his movies before, but I didn't at that time, you know, put the pieces together. And when I did the self tape and I got the role, my agent called me and, and uh, 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 he said, this is Joe Bon Hong, new movie, and, and you will work with him. And, and, and then I started, then I was, you know, like in a stomach, I, I feel excitement. I was really excited to meet him. And uh, first of all, he's a great human being. He's, kind, he's, he's, you know, that person's like a like grown-up child, you know? As a Bosnian actor, what are some of the challenges that you face on an international production? I, I, I really, it's an unbelievable fact, but when you are working internationally, like especially in a Hollywood productions, uh, nobody, nobody is considering you as a Bosnian actor, you know? You are, you are an artist equal to, to all the artists there, and uh, they want you because of your talent, because of your, you are professional. You were also involved in the high profile American drama legends. How do you compare working in film to television? Directors, when you are acting, uh, when you are performing with your, with your uh, co-actor in a scene, in a dialogue, if you have a big poses, which usually and normally you have in life, and it's truthful. Director will say to you, guys, please, I know it's beautiful for me. If we are shooting a cinema or a movie, th this would be fantastic. But this is a TV format. So please compress, compress your performance. Better, better if you do it here, then otherwise they will do it in everything. So compress your acting, compress your pauses. I know. I know this is better, but you have to do it on, on faster. You have to do it differently. So it was a challenge for, for all of us because, you know, you have to act on, on some different way. In the moment, you have to find another solution. What advice would you give to young actors who want to capture an international audience the way you did? It's maybe a rude word, but you are like, uh, you know, you are, you are factory for yourself, you are, you are also, uh, uh, how can I say, um, creation of that factory and you have to sell yourself. 
when I'm when I'm when I'm talking about selling yourself is you have to uh, investigate every day what is going on in worldwide, what is going on in this in this particular moment, uh, what they are searching for, what what type of actor you are, how you will fit in that new wave in cinematography or new wave in television. Adnan Haskovic, thank you so much for this interview. Really was my pleasure and, and thank to you. <laughs>